what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crash on stored up or crashing on stored up issue you're currently having with beamng.drive so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your task manager. You're gonna open it up and simply navigate to um, one of those random processes. Doesn't really matter which one. You're gonna type it and type in B. So once you typed in B, nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, then you right click and end the task. Once you're finished, I want you to end the task manager again. And the next step is gonna be to take your Steam or your BeamNG.Drive shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate uh, right onto the bottom left corner of your screen. You're gonna click under the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function um, in order to find your BeamNG.Drive or your Steam. And once you found it, simply drag it right back on your desktop. Next step is going to be to take your shortcut. You're going to right click and hit run as an administrator. If your game pops up, it's good for you. If it's not popping up, the next step will probably fix it. So you're going to right click it again and go to the very bottom where it says properties. Click on the compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8. Disable, disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. Once you did that, I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. I want you to simply launch the game or launch it over your launcher and this should fix your issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And yeah guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.